listening to your conversations, perhaps stealing your personal photos. Everything from those popular flashlight apps to the Bible even. Here's ABC's Mars Gavocampo tonight. Smartphones used for much more than talking. An estimated 86% of the time we spend on them using apps. But many of the most popular free apps like flashlights, children's games, and even the Bible are actually designed to mine and sell your private information. It's what you agree to in the permissions, giving the app access to things like your location and what you're searching so they can sell that information. Sometimes they gain access to your contacts and spam the numbers. Some free apps go even further. Created by hackers, they embed spyware with the sole purpose of learning your personal information, like credit card numbers and bank account passwords. It's almost like a Trojan horse. Exactly. We call these remote access Trojans or rats. Using a phone with spyware, cybersecurity expert Gary Milevsky shows us how easy it is for crooks to steal personal data on your phone. He takes my picture. Later, that same photo appears on his laptop. The phone was even recording our entire conversation. It is eavesdropping on the microphone right now. So this is the conversation we were just we were having. having a, we were being spied on without even knowing. Now, a trade group tells us app developers are protecting consumers, but we still need to be vigilant. Some tips. Read the permissions and don't download anything that's asking for access it doesn't need. Uninstall any apps you don't use and consider paid apps, which David asked for fewer permissions than the free ones. Get rid of all those apps you're not using. Absolutely. All right, Mark, thank you. When we come back